freaking cool this is. Like Deadpool riding a unicorn, tacos and burritos. Come on. Welcome to Alpha. Well, I guess we have our topic for the day. Okay, today we're going to discuss the difference between candlesticks and line charts. When you first start, you're going to notice there's a few different types of charts out there. You have Renko bars, Heineke Ashi, Heineking Ashi, Heineking Ashi bars. You have line charts and you have the normal candlestick charts. So with all the different ones, which one do you choose? Well, the two popular ones is the line chart and the candlestick chart. Line charts are popular for beginners. That's why Robinhood likes to use them because when you're new, it's very easy to be drawn to them. It really isn't as confusing. You just see a standard price go up and down. But is this really the best practice for you? No, it's not. Not in my opinion anyways. We need to get you away from those line charts. Most traders like to use candle charts, me being one of them. There's a lot of limitations when it comes to the line charts. The main one is they don't show you the price action within that time frame. You don't understand the full picture of what's going on. But with the simplicity of it, I 100% understand why you may be drawn to it. But before we get into candlesticks, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, show me a little love, and help me out in that YouTube algorithm. Now as a new beginning trader, candlesticks might be a little intimidating, and I get it. I was intimidated at first too, but there's really no reason to be. Candlesticks will show you the overall picture of what's going on. So let's break this down for you. The main purpose of a candlestick is to show you what's going on within that time frame. There are four major parts to a candlestick. The open, the close, the high, and the low. This is what we call the price action for that time. Now between the open and the close, that is what we call the body. And if you have a line going above or below, that is what we call a wick. See why it's called candlesticks now? Next, if the candle is green, that means the price closed higher than the open. And if the candle is red, then it closed lower. Most candlesticks on the green candle are hollow. But for my personal preference, I always have it fill in so it's solid. And red candles, they're always solid. Now let's dive into a daily chart so you can understand exactly what's going on. In this chart, let's look at this very last bar. It's solid green. Here we have the open, the close, the high, and the low for this day. Because it's green, the price closed above the opening price. But this is a daily candle. What's going on within the day? You really wouldn't know until we open up a different time frame. So let's look at this four hour candle chart. So the four hour candle chart forms a new candle every four hours. There is six and a half trading hours every single day. Therefore, on a four hour chart, we get two candles. You can see it gives us a little bit more information compared to a single day stick. Now if we want to see a little bit more of what's going on, let's open up the one hour time frame. So here we have seven different sticks. This actually had a very good day considering most of it was green. So let's take a look at this one candlestick right here. Here's the open, here's the close, the high and the low. We can see there was a lot of movement within that hour. Again, something that you couldn't see within standard line chart. The one hour, four hour and daily chart is excellent for swing traders. If you miss what kind of trader you might be, make sure to hit this link right above me. But since swing trading, you're holding for a longer period of time, you're gonna to wanna to look at the higher time frames to see the overall patterns of what's going on. But as a day trader, we wanna know what's going on more intraday. So let me pull up a five minute chart for you. As you can see, there's a whole lot more candles in here because a candle is formed every five minutes. Now with day trading, we're trying to find a right time to enter and exit. In these smaller time frames, they give us a great indication of what's going on. And last but not least is the one minute chart. You can see that this chart is packed with information that you would not get on the daily chart. This is why day traders especially go by candlesticks and not by the line chart. I understand it's gonna take a little bit of time to get used to everything that's going on and read it, but with a little practice and a little bit of time, you'll be reading these charts like an expert. But let's have a side-by-side -side comparison of a daily chart and the one minute chart. So all of this is going on within this one single candlestick. But when you're trading, you will use multiple different time frames to get a better understanding of everything that's going on. And like I said, this video is for you to get a better idea of what you're looking at. Because candlesticks show the emotion of what's really going on. So as traders, we can use these candlesticks to understand price movement a whole lot better. We can find patterns within the charts to give us a better idea of what may or may not happen. If you've been enjoying this free course, 
please make sure to hit that like button, press that like icon, so you can help me out in the YouTube algorithm. I wanna share all the knowledge that I have with as many people as I can, because I'm a big believer, life is not a competition. I wanna see every single one of you succeed. I hope to educate you guys so you can make better decisions and empower you so you can change your lives. Remember, I am not a financial advisor, I'm just a trader that is like sharing all of my knowledge and experience with you. If you wanna join my Discord chat and talk with more like-minded people, the link is in the description. Don't forget to leave comments below. I love hearing your opinions. And I hope all of you have a fantastic day.